Hey there folks, my name is Brock Chart and we're back at you with another pop tutorial. This one is Continuum from Five Finger Pop Book 2. Uh, and uh, a little background about this one, uh, this is another EDM tune. And so uh, just a reminder, that means electronic dance music. Uh, and this one in particular is more based off of like a function uh, of a lot of modern day synthesizers. Um, they, 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 they use uh, in in that type of music, and uh, I'm talking about an arpeggiator. Um, and so, like the name suggests, a lot of arpeggiators, you know, uh, whenever you turn it on, you're able to just play a chord. It doesn't matter, major, minor, or whatever. And the program will just kind of make like a cool arpeggiated pattern. And you know, you can set different parameters with, you know, I want it to be whatever, uh, you know, a, 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 a two octave span or a three octave span, or, you know, I can change if it's just constant 16th notes or eighth notes or whatever. Um, but they're very, very popular uh, in, in, in this uh, style of music. Um, and and uh, uh, a, a, a specific example that I was kind of listening to when I wrote this uh, was uh, the song Rather Be by Clean Bandit. It came out a few years ago and like the little uh, intro scent thing I just thought was, uh, was, was really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, this one is all about different, you know, kind of arpeggios. Uh, and you know, we don't have an arpeggiator so we gotta use our our fingers here uh, and so um, this one I know that you're gonna be tempted to use pedal on this but I actually want it without pedal and so it's gonna become kind of a juggling act uh, of you know cuz you do have to move around a little bit in this tune but uh, but I do think it's a really cool kind of more synthesizer type of sound uh, without pedal at least for uh, for the first page um, so let's go ahead and get started. Your right hand three is going to be on this higher C, and your left hand five is going to be on this lower A here. And uh, yeah, you're going to want to just sound like a machine, just rapid fire six, or I'm, I'm sorry, rapid fire eighth notes, uh, just all in time. <laughs> So let's back that up a little bit. And so really what we have is A minor, and then we kind of go down to like a D7 chord. And notice whenever I do that, I'm stretching out my right hand a little bit. One, two, three, five. Uh, so yeah, a skip between that one, two, and three. And then I'm going kind of to a G chord, E minor here. And I'm stretching between a one and a two here in that right hand again. And then it's kind of the same pattern. So, and it's very loopable. And so I would recommend just, you know, setting a metronome down um, or, you know, even doing the play along track and even just playing like the first four bars uh, over and over again, just until you feel comfortable. And, you know, again, we're wanting to sound like a synthesizer, and so, you know, it's a machine, and so they play perfectly in time, and it's just kind of rapid fire, uh, eighth notes there. But, yeah, that's kind of the gist for the first part here. Uh, once it gets to about pickups into measure eight, uh, this is more uh, inspired kind of by... Um, uh, by like artists like 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 uh, uh, late 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 Lady Gaga uh, in particular, like her very first album, The Fame, uh, is just full of really really cool uh, synthesizer heavy melodies, um, and it's just very catchy, and it, it's uh, there's honestly not 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 a bad tune on it. Um, and uh, in some of the time she does these like tied over like eighth note stuff and introduces a little bit of syncopation uh, with some like simple uh, harmonies in the background. And that's kind of what I tried to do a little bit with, uh, with this part. This would be pickups going into measure eight. I'll play that for you. <laughs> Kind of goes back to the beginning, like the to the 
officiator sort of thing. Um, but let's back up and talk about this part so that like measure pickups going into measure eight uh, is kind of a little uh, transition thing. And I would say really that like the, you know, pre-chorus or something starts right in measure nine. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I had talked a lot about those those tied over and a fours, those tied over and a twos. Uh, you're going to see that uh, during this section a lot. And so there's there's a, a decent amount of syncopation. It's always a good idea to like uh, you know write in um, some of those uh, eight, eight, eighth note counting between the staves um, if that helps you out. And so your right hand three is going to be on B up here. And so I'm going to count, I'm going to give us two beats. So one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Now, we are using the pedal right there in measure eight. And so, you know, we are kind of going from it was a thumb, and then I'm jumping over to a three on that G, and you can use the pedal for sure to make that transition easier and smoother. Uh, starting in measure nine, two, crossing over with that two for that F sharp and right back. The tendency for a lot of students, and honestly, uh, me too, on those off beats, especially if they're just, you know, and a two, and a three, and a four, all off beat stuff, is to rush. Um, and so just make sure that we're really uh, uh, honest about the subdivision there, and you know, you can slow things down and even do it with a metronome or the play along track. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and and two and three and four and so yeah, the left hand is kind of doing these open fifths here, and it's kind of an extension a little bit of the right hand. Uh, a lot of times that left hand kind of leads directly into the right hand. Uh, and you could kind of hear that a little bit. Let me start in measure seven. So especially that part, like in measure eight. So you can almost think of that like as one instrument or one line there, uh, just kind of one synthesizer. Um, and the same sort of thing happens all throughout here where like the left hand kind of has those pickups and then it continues into the right hand. So let me play that for you again. This will be pickups going into measure eight with both hands. starts over again so that is the first part this does have a second ending it's very similar to the first ending but uh, there's a little difference uh, on that like second measure talking about measure 17 there uh, so let's go over that so your right hand three is gonna be on B again everything starts the same stretching up to an E with a third finger to get this kind of cool line. It's almost like a secondary melody, maybe something that would, you know, be sung as in, uh, you know, in, in, in the background vocals uh, as, as, as like in, 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 in an echo of, of like our, our lead singer line or something. They're kind of flowing, or I almost think like cascading uh, eighth notes, and I like that word cascading because it's it's just it's kind of like a waterfall, and that's really what your right hand's doing, starting from twenty one. And so they're all like this sort of pattern, but they go in octaves, and the pedal can absolutely help you out there. So if you're kind of just starting this section. I would recommend, honestly, just doing them, playing them all in half notes just as a block chord just to get used to, like, the motion and feeling where those 
chords are. So this would be 21. We could do it as block chords. And what I mean by block chords, we're just going to not even worry about the separate eighth notes and just play them all together. Just one, two, three, or I'm sorry, one, three, four, five. So let's try that right in 21. Ready? And down an octave. And it's kind of the same thing, but just on B is our highest note. And then we come down and do it again. And then we hit this D chord. And then it's kind of the same thing. So we hit our block, down an octave. Block with a B, down an octave. And then here's our D chord again. And so when you try that with the arpeggio or those eighth notes, same notes and the exact same fingerings just down uh, the octave there. The left hand is kind of doing these spread out kind of almost like power chords. A lot of power chords, they don't have the third. So it's a lot of times just like root, fifth, root. Um, and so that's kind of what we're having in the left hand, but we're kind of doing this rocking motion. Bass, higher two, bass, higher two. So 21 uh, with the pickups in there, because I do think that that's important. Here, we're going different directions. So this would be called contrasting motion. It's where we're playing the exact same chord right in 24, but then left hand is moving down while right hand is moving up. So it gives some nice contrary motion there. And then we've seen this before in the right hand, but it's different left hand notes. And I love doing this where, uh, you know, you can have the exact same melody or whatever in the right hand, but if you put a different bass note under it, it completely changes the texture uh, and color of it. And so it's, uh, it's an, a, 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 a really nice, easy way to get contrast in making old material sound fresh. And so, you know, for any songwriters out there, you might try that as well. Um, and so, yes, this will be at the top of 29. Our left hand is now doing those power chord on C, coming up to a power chord on G. So let's try that together. This is 29, a little bit slower. And here's our D chord. And we have this contrasting motion again. So we hit our chord. Left hand is going down, right hand is going up. And then I'm going to hit this low C and a retard on no. And I can hold that, let it ring. And that's the tune. So, yeah, I think that'll do it for Continuum. Uh, this is a really fun tune. If you have a, a keyboard, I would definitely, you know, try playing this out on, like, a, on a cool uh, synthesizer setting or, like, electric piano setting. Um, and, yeah, seeing how you like it. Uh, but thank you, folks, for tuning in. So I appreciate it and hope, uh, hope this video helped you learn the piece. So thank you so much again. I will see you in the next one.